we will be discussing phylum echinodermata in this module. Echinoderms are triploblastic telomates and they exhibit radial symmetry, uh, but in their larval stages, uh, they exhibit bilateral symmetry. They are exclusively marine and they are mostly small in size, uh, but they may be range in size from 10 centimeter to 2 meters. Their body plan uh, is variable and it consists of a flat body like, uh, like biscuits, uh, for example, cake urchin. And then they may be star shaped with uh, short arms, example is starfish. Uh, they can be globular like sea urchin or they can be star shaped with long arms, for example, brittle star or they may be elongated, uh, for example, sea cucumber. So the echinoderms exhibit low degree of organization. There are specialized organs for digestion and uh, uh, reproduction. We can see here, uh, these are the uh, digestive uh, glands and uh, they ha do have uh, gonads and um, their sexes are separate and they undergo external fertilization and uh, uh, as they are specialized organs for digestion and reproduction, but they are no specialized organs for respiration or excretion. Uh, the nervous system is also poorly developed, but there is a brain, uh, uh, there is uh, actually no brain. However, there is a nerve ring. Uh, you can see here the radial nerve present and um, which is present in the pharyngeal region. And uh, similarly, uh, circulatory system too is very uh, poorly developed and um, Silome actually helps in circulation and respiration process. So uh, the other system which is unique to this uh, kingdom or uh, so to this uh, phylum uh, Canodermata is a water vascular system. We can see here the water vascular system. Uh, before going into the detail of uh, this water vascular system, it is to be uh, discussed or uh, discussed here that the epidermis of uh, kinoderms have a uh, uh, thousands of neurosensory cells uh, which are uh, stretched over the endoskeleton of uh, this uh, kinodermata and uh, it is composed of uh, movable or fixed calcium uh, rich plates which are called as ossicles and these plates which are uh, we discussed are ossicles uh, they have they have uh, pores and uh, these pores actually extend two feet which is a part of a uh, water vascular system so uh, to discuss water vascular system, we will see this medriporite. Uh, this is actually the entry to the uh, water, entry point for uh, water here. And uh, it is a sieve like plate. So uh, there are uh, five radial uh, rings extended in the arms. Uh, to see this um, closely, we can observe that this is medriporite, which okay, entry point here, water ka. And then they are uh, systems of uh, lateral canals and it consists of uh, ampulla which is under fluid hota hai, and then we have a tube feed which is podium. Bhi kehte hai. So, when ampulla ke, uh, jo contract karta hai, to iske under jo fluid hota hai, uh, wo, um, force out and it goes in tube feed mein chala jata hai, aur use extend it. So, iski extension ki wajah se ye, uh, substratum pe attach karta hai. So tube feet के अंदर जो longitudinal muscles होते हैं वो contract करते हैं और उसकी वजह से tube feet bend करता है और जब uh, ampulla के muscles relax करते हैं तो जो fluid uh, tube feet के अंदर क्या होता है वो flow back करता है so इस action की वजह से uh, जो uh, movement है या locomotion है वो possible होता है और ये uh, जो tube feet हैं they are also involved in the feeding process और uh, अगर ये mouth cavity के uh, करीब so, uh, this feeding process main role. Uh, you can uh, see the more close uh, look of the tube feet here. 